Plastic SCM is a pretty useful tool for Unity, which allows you to save your Unity project online, so that when you are going somewhere and you don't have the files on your computer, you can easily download them from the cloud. And also, if you have a group of friends and you want to develop a game with them, you can also share the file using the Plastic SCM with them, and when they make some changes, they can also push the changes to the cloud. I personally am using the Plastic SCM for my own projects. It is free up to 5 GB, so you don't have to worry about paying anything. And now I will show you how to set up the account and how to actually push the changes to the Plastic SCM cloud. In the browser, you can search for Unity version control. I have created a brand new account, so it should all look same for you and also for me. I will go into the account and look into the organizations. If you don't have an organization here, you should create one and you also need to fill in some of the data for the organizations, so you should click edit and fill in the address and all of that stuff. Then when we go back to the Unity version control, we can just hit start for free. As you can see, it is for free, up to 5 GB of storage, which is a lot, so we can hit next step. Then we select the existing organization, which is this one, and we can just tick that the billing address is the same as the organization address and proceed to payment. Fill in all of the information and place order. Again, don't worry, it is for free. Now we need to go to Unity Gaming Services to the UVCS organizations and then we can create an organization for the Plastic SCM. So give it some name and now we can select the data center which will be the place where all of the data will be stored. And now as we have the organization created, we can just add some members to it. So we can click to the organization, then go to seats and we can assign seats. So here you will just input the address of the people that you want to add. And you can also give them some permissions about what they can do and what they can't do. And now what we can do is when you have a Unity project, you can just click on window, plastic SCM, and then we can create workspace. So for this first field, you first want to import the name, then the name of the organization, which we have just created, and then cloud. So it should look like this. Then we can just select the first option so that we can push and pull the changes and we can create workspace. And now when I make any changes to the project or to the scene, so I can create some object and save it. So now you can see it here in the plastic SCM in the pending changes and I can just select all of them and check in changes, which will just publish the changes to the cloud. Also, if someone else would make some changes, you can go into the incoming changes and then you would hit the update workspace. So now if someone wants to download your Unity project, you will first give them the permission and then they can just go into the Unity Hub, hit open, open remote project and here you see all of the projects. I have created two and I already have added them to the Unity Hub. You can see that this was pretty easy to do and with this you can easily back up your projects or share them with your friends. I hope that you found this video useful, if you have any questions drop them down to the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos, bye! Just a quick reminder that I can also teach you individually anything about Unity, Bolt or C Sharp because I just can't fit all of the information into these videos or I can also help you with your personal projects or with the features you are trying to implement, so feel free to reach out to me and we can have an individual lesson. One hour lesson costs 10 euros and is on Google Meet.